First up on the show, polling is underway in South Africa's general elections, the most competitive since the end of the apartheid, which could result in the ruling African National Congress losing its majority for the first time in 30 years. The ANC came in to power after South Africa's first multiracial elections in 1994 when it was led by Nelson Mandela and since then has won a majority in national elections held every five years through its share of though its share of uh, vote share has gradually declined. Now among the opposition parties uh, vying for power is the pro-business democratic alliance which uh, won the second largest vote share in 2019 and has formed an alliance with several smaller parties to try to broaden its appeal. Former President Jacob Zuma is backing a new party called MK, named after the ANC's former armed wing. Zuma was forced to quit as president in 2018 after a string of scandals. But according to recent polls, the ANC led by President Cyril Ramphosa may experience a first ever decline in its percentage of vote share below 50%. Now, South Africa, with a population of 62 million, has 27.6 million registered voters. However, voter turnout may be a worry as voter apathy rises, but many in the country are fed up with high unemployment currently at 32.9 percent, rampant crime, corruption scandals and regular power cuts and water shortages. In 2023, the economy grew a meager 0.6 percent. It is anticipated that the Election Commission will begin disclosing initial results shortly after polls close. The Commission has seven days to announce final results. As polling continues in South Africa, 27 million registered voters are heading to polls to elect a new parliament which will then choose their president. This time around, voters have voiced dissatisfaction with the ruling ANC as they grapple with lack of jobs, water shortages and potholed roads. So it's very exciting for me also because of all the different parties, um, all in addition to that, the independence. It gives our democracy, I would think, a little bit of spice. It, I do believe that it will change the structure um, post the selection. And um, it, 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 I do think that it will make our democracy much more mature. I come to vote because we haven't got water, no roads. So we like you if you can create the jobs for the young people. We are young and there's no job for youth. We have degrees, we're not getting jobs. There's no difference, actually. So I'm here to make a difference to vote for MK. I'm here 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 to vote I just want to be the first one who would keep ANC. I'm sick and tired. Cartel is this. In Ghana, it's seven zina mati kringa three as seven zile makai. The whole road is uh, full of potholes, and we have a lack of water. The other village doesn't get water, so. We want to vote so that they can bring us a good service delivery. Very excited. I understand that it's a very <laughs> important decision to make. So yes, I'm excited, but very nervous because it is a big decision. Yeah, 30 years of democracy is a very long way that we've come. So I just want to continue to help our country get to a better place. And for more on this, we're now being joined by correspondent Calden Ongmu from Johannesburg. And uh, Calden, how much of a setback is there for the ANC? Is it going to be decimated or is it going to be a fraction of its vote going elsewhere? 
Currently, uh, I'm, I'm at the heart of Joburg, standing here in Johannesburg CBD. Behind me is Gauteng Legislature. There's a snake queue. And most of the voters that I noticed here are very young voters. And uh, they say they are here to cast the democratic right. They say the famous phrase that I've been hearing since morning, you know, I've been going to several polling stations and the famous phrase that I've been hearing all day is, we want change. So coming back to your question, uh, you know, ANC has got his fans, ANC got people that are disappointed with them. ANC has been the only party, time and again we've been saying, is the only party that has ruled South Africa since democracy. Uh, going, uh, I've been to uh, various places like the suburbs where people said they want change. Uh, we've given, uh, given enough chance to ANC. 30 years is more than enough. Instead of improving, the ANC voters have been declining over the last decade. But in township, a second, if you go there, you know, you hear a different voice. Um, uh, earlier, I was at the township where President Silo Ramaphosa cast his vote in Soweto, which is the largest township in South Africa. Actually, surprisingly, there's a lot of ANC fans out there, especially the elderly people, stating that if it's not ANC, who else? It's the ANC that, uh, that, uh, who's experienced. It's the ANC who can look after its people. Over the years, people can complain that there's, no, uh, there's unemployment, there's crime has increased, the economy is not doing well. But they say that ANC is the only party that has looked after its uh, uh, looked after the older, uh, older generation of people. So those are the contrast voices we're hearing. Here, if you come here and speak to some of the younger people, however, though, there's a mixed reaction from everyone. Some say, you know, ANC is the party that, uh, party that has, uh, you know, seen everything. So they are experienced, while other party, like the main opposition party, Democratic Alliance, is very anti-black. That's the, vo uh, that's the voice that we are hearing from the younger generation here. Some say economic freedom fighters. That's another opposition party. It's very radical in the approach. So ANC is the only one. However, there are others who say, you know, younger generation of people that I earlier spoke to also, uh, they are also saying the same voice, that they are younger generation of people. They've been unemployed, especially one girl, uh, you know, she stood out for me saying, you know, um, I'm here, but I'm still not decided whether I should go in to vote or should I just drop out from the line because she is not satisfied with what the ANC has done, especially for younger generation of people, those born after the apartheid era. Uh, there were so many uh, people that I spoke to who are not voting at all. They say even if ANC comes, ANC doesn't come, you know, there's not going to be a change in their lives. So they're staying away from voting. So those are the sentiments of people today. But what uh, an hour back, the IEC, that's Independent Electoral Commission of South Africa, they made an announcement stating that they were initially they were expecting a voter turnout of at least 66 percent of the 28 million people that have registered to vote. Now they say it looks like that number is going to go up. And it certainly feels like that. Since morning, I've been driving around all over uh, uh, Johannesburg in various places, you know, different places like the suburbs, the township, the uh, central business district here. And there's a lot of people. The queue has been just, uh, you know, increasing uh, 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 within hours itself. The IEC has said that everything is going smoothly, except for a few voting stations that had problems in the morning when they opened at 7 a.m. But everything is going as planned. So the voting closes 9 p.m., but they have they have said that those people standing in the queue at 9 p.m. will be assisted to vote as well. Right, Calden, thanks very much indeed for joining us with the very latest there. So certainly there is voter dissatisfaction, there's voter apathy, uh, there's a lack of choice as well, and we will certainly know uh, for sure who will be winning this election. For all the latest news, download the Beyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.